All right, so I'm here for supermanhomepage.com, and I'm here with Neil Adams, who is going to be penning a new Superman series. Can you just remind us of the title, please? Well, it's the uh, we're tentatively calling it The Arrival of the Superman. And it starts off with uh, a bunch of Supermen coming to Earth, uh, relieving uh, Superman of duty. Uh, which surprises Superman because first of all he didn't expect them, second of all he doesn't know where they came from, and he, third of all he doesn't know what the hell is going on. So obviously there's something going on that's very, very bad, otherwise how do you get Superman arriving at Earth and how can they be Superman? So that sets up a mystery. The mystery is then continued with uh, characters from Apocalypse who seem to be invading New Krypton. So then we have to discover where New Krypton is. And we have to discover again where uh, new, uh, new Genesis is and New Apocalypse is. And what's the deal with Darkseid and what's going on with Luthor? And is a deal being made with Luthor with Darkseid? Then what is Superman going to do about all of this? Because he doesn't know what the hell is going on. I'm a big, real big fan of all of the Superman covers that you produced for the uh, Bronze Age. Really great work. And I'm also very, very much looking forward to this because I know you're going to be doing all the interiors on the work. Yes. Where Unfortunately for a lot of the Bronze Age, we got a lot of great covers and the interiors were not so much unfortunate because Kurt Swan was doing the work there. Right. And well, we don't want to say we don't want to say we're disappointed because Kurt Swan did a great job. Yes, he did. He did the classic job. Mine is a little bit more modern, obviously, and now we're moving into the into the uh, Jim Lee age of Superman, where Superman doesn't have the that bathing suit on the outside of his pants. Right. And he seems to have some aspects of his uniform that might be very, very difficult for him to disguise himself as Clark Kent, for example, a high collar. I'm pretty much going to guess that that's Superman under that high collar. So I think we're going to have to find some compromises within this story that makes sense. I must say, as much as I like to keep the character the same, I am tossed between the shorts and the long shorts. Really? Yeah, I, I have a feeling the shorts have to go. Well, I'm a I'm a trunks guy all the way. I, I never thought they needed to change it. I, and and uh, you know that's the thing is that is that I think there are a lot of people wondering what I'm going to do relative to the uniform and how do you deal with these things. Um, there's going to be a lot of people who want to see me do the classic Superman, and a lot of people are going to wonder whether or not we're going to push to the Jim Lee Superman. There's also this question of the lawsuit that's going on, or was going on, and then seemed to have stopped, and then there seems to be some murmurings about, you know, taking it even further, like, say, the, take, like, say to the Supreme Court, which seems to me to be a really ridiculous concept. So, were those changes that DC made in Superman a way to get away from Jerry Siegel and Joe Schuster Superman? And if that was the case, would they have changed Superman? And the movie, for example, is called The Man of Steel. It's not till the middle of the movie when there's sort of an implication that it's, quote, Superman. So we're, we, you fans and myself, are caught in this kind of, you know, midsection world of why is this happening, why is this happening, why has he, for example, got a, a uniform that seems to have armor plating on it? It doesn't make any sense. Because Superman's skin is stronger than the armor plating that, that could be there. So isn't it fabric, or are we following the movie? Is that thing on his chest really an S? I mean, so many weird questions that we as fans and me now doing this project are going to have to answer. And probably my answer won't be a permanent answer. I don't know what my answer will be. Because I'm also bringing in Kryptonians. So there's something that the movie did with Kryptonians that was pretty good, too. So. I think we're going to have a few surprises. Thank you very much for the time. It's a pleasure. Pleasure. Yeah.